Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about dreams. Um, everyone's heard about the dreams, you know, people see their dead relatives and they're giving them messages and some people have nightmares and some people have, you know, dreams that wake them up in the middle of the night. Um, first I want to talk to you about what dreams really are. And for that, you have to go back to the mind, body, spirit thing. You know, our souls exist in, in, in this body. And at night, it's not that our body needs rest, it's that our soul needs rest from the body. So the soul takes itself away from the body to recharge itself, connect back to home, to remember why we're, why we're here, what it is we've come to do and then come back into the body and when we have dreams it's usually when the soul is either trying to leave the body or come back into the body and those dreams can be distorted very distorted they can be the reason they're distorted is because you have to take into consideration what you did that day your emotional state um, if you're severely upset about something that's going to alter your dream because what it does is it takes part of your subconscious mental part with your soul's part of trying to remember who you are so sometimes the messages get distorted but you can figure that out I mean if you have a dream simple simple uh, explanation if you've been having something on your mind regarding a relative say for the last three or four days then you suddenly have a dream and they're in it it's not always that it's about them usually it's not about them it's about the message and what happens is when we come back into our bodies or as we're leaving it we're remembering we're remembering who we are we're remembering why that was unimportant we're remembering how to move past that so a lot of times there are messages in there but not necessarily something you have to act on. Now we do have those dreams where, you know, your relative has crossed over and they show up in your dream. Well, that's because they want you to know they're okay. And sometimes you have dreams where you feel you need to take a precaution or you're honestly being told by someone on the other side something specific. And then a lot of times you are. But yet again, this lifetime is yours. It's your lessons. It's for you to figure out. So when you have a dream like that, write it down. I can't stress that enough. When you do not, when you wake up and you have a dream and you think, oh, I'll remember, and you go back to sleep, you don't remember. You don't remember half of the dream, even if you think you remember some of it. Write it down. You don't have to analyze it right then. Just write everything down that you can remember and then go back to sleep because what will happen is once you wake up and you read it again it'll make more sense than it will when you're jarred at 3 a.m. but dreams are really part of your subconscious letting go of your day and your soul remembering who you are and what you've come here to do so while some dreams are important most dreams are not most dreams are Nightmares, for example, nightmares are releases. Nightmares are our fears. Nightmares are us trying to let go of our fears and our fear hanging on to them. I know that's not a little redundant, but it is. It's exactly how it happens. And, you know, your dreams can never hurt you. It's just the, the clash between your physical and spiritual self trying to exist together. So the next time you have a dream, just write it down and put it aside and look at it later. And you'll see the part of it you were meant to see. And you'll be able to determine the distortion or the part that was your subconscious that you didn't really need to know about. So, but pay attention to them. Dreams can be important. Dreams can try and give you messages about your day-to-day -day life and about who you are and why you're here but don't take so much into them that you need a dream dictionary or that you need to know well oh my god i was falling so that's what this means really only you can interpret your dreams 
you need to look at the dream objectively and see what it means. And you can figure it out for yourself. So, happy dreams.